All right. So probably, <laughs> I'm probably going to get off a little bit on this one because unfortunately. Oh, I a little off, bit? I just went off That's not something talking you about these do. Uncle Toms, and I'm about to defend one, kind of. So bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all know the man, Jason Whitlock, Stephen A. Smith. If y'all not aware, we'll play. I'm, I'm just going to start it off with just a little bit of what Stephen A. had to say about Mr. Whitlock. Um, because uh, it's pretty much happened. There's a beef between them, and I'm going to explain it in just a little bit. But I, I just feel like what he said was peak t- television. Like, it was peak YouTube. Uh, Mr. Stephen A., can you just take away for us for a moment? You were betrayed by this particular writer, so you know how I must feel that you betrayed me. Did you tell the folks that, you bitch? Ow. Did you tell them, you fat piece of shit? Ow. Tell them that? Got the names. We got Jamel Hill. We got Howard Bryant. You want me to bring up the other writers that wouldn't work for you? Why it took you nearly two years to get an article out? Because you ran that shit so bad you were running it into the ground? What a disgrace you were to John Skipper, the former boss of ESPN, or the host of others. You want me to talk about that? Because I got receipts. I got the email. When we talk about that? Now, just for everybody that wants to understand, how could this possibly be? Because once upon a time, I actually tried to speak up for this damn cretin. I knew he was a piece of shit. But I said. What'd you say? Look. Maybe Tell I was misunderstood. Mm. Why would I do that, ladies and gentlemen? Why? Because sometimes as black folks, mm-hmm. we get in our own way. We think that all of us must be of one monolithic thinking. That that we need to be completely and totally aligned. Okay. And any deviation from that brings into question our quote unquote blackness. All right, Mm -hmm. so we're going to cut that out, cut that a little short there. That nigga went on for like four minutes on that nigga. Yeah. (laughs) Stephen ain't like to hear himself talk. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's why (laughs) he had to get that YouTube show going. All right, so. So do we, though. We got to kind of have to spark. I want to give everybody a little bit just so they know what occurred here. So these two gentlemen have had. Long-standing beef, okay? Uh, this is something that has been, if you are familiar with the sports journalism world, has been something that Jason Whitlock has been open with his shit talk of Stephen A. He will go at him, call him every kind of plant, anytime is necessary. Stephen A. has always took the I'm, I'm holier than thou approach. I'm not saying your names. This was the first time he addressed it. So let's talk about what was he the said, trigger. You bitch. We got to talk about what was the trigger, okay? So... Stephen A. has just dropped a memoir where he talks about his life um, and kind of goes into extensive detail. And he talks about, you know, his 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 sports career, Mm -hmm. not necessarily professional, but his amateur sports career. And my boy Whitlock, he said, bro, we got to call some shit into question. Mm -hmm. Some shit ain't adding up. You telling me you barely played in high school, but you got a college scholarship. That don't add up. Yeah. And he's right. That, yeah, that, that shit don't sound. And then he tells this story. He went to a tryout. And this Negro says he hit 17 threes. Never did it before. Never did it again. 17 threes during this. Just uh, at the tryout? How at convenient. this tryout. How convenient is that, Negro? <laughs> How convenient is that? So I'm sitting here looking at it. And I'm like, Whitlock, you're a conservative nigga that I generally don't agree with. Nope. But my nigga, you make a lot of good points. Mm-hmm. You're hitting, you're hitting a nail on the goddamn head. This shit don't we never hate that sound right because you're hitting the nail on the head but against the black man. My thing is this: I don't, I don't like Whitlock be, as his political stance. I don't believe in a lot of stuff that he's agree, agree with, and a lot of things that he stands for. I will say, any black man that's getting his own check and building his own company, I'm always gonna have a baseline respect for. Mm-hmm. Because you getting out the mud, you not having ESPN sign your checks. You're not going about uh, getting it the, the, the dirty way. You, well, you get it the dirty way, but your dirty way. You control of the dirt. You're not doing it because <laughs> you, you, you don't have someone putting a battery in your back. You wake up in the morning and choose violence. Yep. So I respect that. 
I can always respect that. So when he called out Stephen A, I'm thinking, this man Stephen A is going shit talk. He's going to get in his bag, but he's going to address the lies. I listened. He didn't address the lies. All he did was do some BS high school shit where it's like, okay, he caught me in a corner, so I'm going to just play the popular kid role. And that's exactly what he did. He went out there and said, nobody likes you. You fat as fuck. No, and no. you a bitch. That's what he just heard it. <laughs> that's what he just said. So, okay, what has, have you, ex- I don't know if I missed this, but how long has this, be- has this beef been going on between Stephen A and Jason Whitlock? So according to them, it's been going on since Jason Whitlock, when he left ESPN or before, maybe before ESPN, he was at a position where he was hiring writers. Mm-hmm. And he had a chance to hire Stephen A. Mm-hmm. But he told his bosses that he didn't feel like Stephen A was a good enough writer. Okay, so. And so that's why he didn't sign him on. I, I have been assuming this whole time that Jason Whitlock, Whitlock is a white man. Am I correct in that? Incorrect. He's a black man with a heavy variety of, uh, that's why he called him fat. He's a fat black man. Okay, so this is like, it seems to me, a black man hindering and like low-key being a hater and Whitlock like being for, a hater? for another another black man's you career. You say Whitlock is being a hater? Yeah. There is in, some, in the beginning. Of course. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. If if he was like stopping him and saying that he's like not right for this position. Well, see, that was Whitlock who said that to Stephen A. But Stephen A is the higher figure now. So now. There, yeah. There could be so some. So n- it seems like even more like hateration like, in the okay. beginning. If, so. Was Whitlock in a higher position than let, Stephen A. Let me explain in to his you. inception? Let me explain to you. Yes. So, when we talk about sports writing and sports journalism, you mm-hmm. got to remember, for a large part of their career, it was about the pen. Nobody yeah. saw what you looked like. Yeah. They just saw your name. Mm-hmm. So, when the, the business changed over to being on TV, somebody like Stephen A., decent looking man. More aesthetically pleasing. It's going to transition. Whitlock, who when you take a look at Jason Whitlock, apparently you you start big breathing. Bonded. My thing is this: when you take a look at Jason Whitlock, you start breathing heavy. Let me look up Jason Whitlock while you're Jason Whitlock has some of the worst profile photos known to man. <laughs> like this is a big boy. Like he's he's always been heavy set. He wears okay. the weird fan do- for doors. Okay, like he comes off like a guy that says, "Oh, the black women didn't like me in high school." Uh, yeah, yeah. You can see that, right? The fedora, the the suit is big and the fedora is small. Steve Harvey suits and fedoras. That's what Jason Whitlock was on. Steve the whole Harvey time. suits and neo fedoras. fedoras. <laughs> so when it changed to being TV, your wow. fat ass ain't gonna stick. So of course there's gonna be hate there. I'm going. I, I agree. There may be some hate, but don't worry. The tatas. I'm is... directing the hate in the avenue of truth. And I hate seeing this. I've seen so many people covering this. And I even had conversations in my own personal group chat about this where folks was talking about, oh, why Steve, why, why Stephen A got to stoop down to this or why Stephen A uh, not being respected or Stephen A, I'm on Stephen A's side. And I'm like, are you niggas listening? <laughs> are you paying attention? Because right now it sounds like there's a lot of ball, ball glazing going on around here. <laughs> Like, it's a lot of craziness occurring Pause, over you here. Have to do it too. My bad. There's a lot of craziness going on over here. It and I don't, and, I'm, and it's not acceptable. It. The craziness is not acceptable. <laughs> I'm not with it. Okay? Like, we have to stand on principles and values. And we have to sit here and can't ball glaze a man because his feelings were hurt. Stephen A should be ashamed. Should be ashamed. Because you didn't address the point. I don't care about the bully talk. I don't care about the the grandstanding. It's not what I stand for. It's not. I stand for truth. You stay grandstanding as like at least once an episode. Because that's what all you niggas are doing. You are all y'all are doing is grandstanding. Y'all have big ass egos with dicks that can't match the size of your egos. It can't. <laughs> Damn, I, I want to get a little into dicks. Tiny little dicks. 